So we probably don't say it enough uh, on these videos, but very important to just sit every day. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 40 minutes if you can do it, right? I mean. Yeah, and, and this we talked about many, many times. People look for shortcuts. Yeah. What if I don't do it? I mean, you really have to do some time. Yeah. I mean, you cannot not, you can't make it without doing anything. You have to do something. Yeah practice-wise to make this thing. Reinforce it and get your brain trained into operating a certain way. It learns how to do this thing over time. Yeah, it's mental floss, right? You know, we're just, yeah. we got to do it every day. You brush your teeth every just day, you it. floss your teeth every day. You, you just, just do it. it. Just do it. Um, and if you do that, what's so interesting is, is that, you know, just as over time, you know, if you don't floss your teeth, if you were flossing your teeth regularly and then you don't do it, mm -hmm. it feels odd. Mm -hmm. you, you don't like it. Uh, same thing. If you if you get into a routine where you're where you're sitting 35, 40 minutes right. every day, and then you don't do it, you feel it, yeah. right? So it's a kind of self-regulating practice because then you want to do it, uh, and it feels like the more you do it, the better it feels. Yes. Um, and the better it feels, the more just organically, very obvious techniques mm -hmm. are more or less taught to you. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need to go and look at a meditation manual. Right. You just, and you know, one that I had the other day was you know, so simple that it makes me say, duh. But I was doing it the other day and I was practicing, uh, you know, basically got to a still space, uh, experienced uh, the ability to just turn around and look for where my self was, and experienced a kind of energetic there-ness, mm -hmm. if I can put it that way. Mm -hmm. And then I did the self-inquiry question. I said, hey, well, you know, where am I? Mm. And there was the experience of being there, but without a metric, you know, no size. Mm -hmm. So I followed up that self-inquiry saying, am I the size of the room? Mm. No. You feel the whole room. Mm. You're the size of the room. Yeah. Mm. Am I the size of the house? Yeah. <laughs> Big is the house. Am I the size of State College, Pennsylvania? Yeah. yeah. Am I the size of Pennsylvania? And of course, it just snowballs yeah. from there. So, am I the size of Pennsylvania? Mm -hmm. Am I the size of the United States? Mm -hmm. Am I the size of the Earth? Mm -hmm. Am I the size of the solar system? Jupiter got in on the act there at a certain point. Yeah, no. yeah. Am I the size of the galaxy? Am I the size of that pop? <laughs> like, that whole concept of size just is destroyed mm -hmm. in the experience of the ubiquity of what you are. Mm -hmm. And it's such a beautiful and simple practice that I wanted to share it because we can get stuck on this where am I or when am I because we can look for ourselves and of course we don't find the self, like, is it in my fingernail? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Uh, but to really explore that ubiquity, it feels like, at least for some of us, that it's helpful to try to put a metric on it. Yeah, yeah. To see if it's like, oh, well, does it fit, you know, is it the size of that? You know, it's about, well, how big is it? Yeah. <laughs> and then when you, you know, to really realize there's no metric, it changes everything. Yeah, Douglas Harding. Right. One of my favorites. Me too. Guys, it was big on this. Yeah. I mean, he says, we're sitting in the middle of this thing. And the thing that you just eloquently yeah. expanded out into, he also said, okay, do that. Yeah. But then also look at collapsing Back yourself in. down smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, smaller. And you, you find out that as you get smaller and smaller and smaller, you also aren't there. No. And so you either go tiny or huge, you're in either place, which leads you to this argument. That is famous saying of, you know, between. It's a sense I'm everything, in the sense I'm nothing. It's yeah. between wisdom and love, and between those two, my and my life moves. And so you swing between those everything and nothing, yeah. and going both directions, as yes. you eloquently just said, is a great way to do it. And you can also take it down. And Douglas Harding stuff is really useful for this. We haven't done it. Haven't. And there's the Eames video, Powers of Ten. Exactly. That, oh, it's a beautiful video. I think it's from the 60s. That is going out through Powers of Ten on scale. It goes out. And then it goes back down There's all the way to the quantum level. Yeah, yeah. And so really concretizing that where am I question. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, I found to be useful. Yeah, fascinating. Yeah, good cool. stuff. Good stuff. Pop.